Are you using Ancestry through lines and now are discovering a big problem? That problem that Ancestry through lines is confused by non biological events? Howdy, I'm Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics, and this is a place where we help you learn to understand DNA, climb your family tree, and write the stories along the way. But always remember, if family history isn't fun, you're doing it wrong. Now, as you begin to work with ancestry through lines, you may come across a situation where your through lines are with the wrong parents. You may have through lines for step families, but that's not your biological genetic through line. That's because ancestry through lines cannot differentiate between biological lines and genetic lines when they start matching your DNA matches to the genealogical tree. As such, you're going to have situations like this one. In my tree, I have my grandmother. Now, my grandmother was adopted by Harry and Laura Maud Smith. But what's the problem? Well, ancestry through lines, as evidenced by these little icons, is trying to tell me that they have genetic through lines for my adopted family. It doesn't really work that well. When I click on Harry Howard Long, I can view his through lines. And this is what I come up with. Now, truth be told, that I am genetically related to my brother and I am genetically related to this aunt. But once I leave these folks, as I've said in earlier videos, we have left DNA and now we're climbing a genealogical tree. And people don't always know that there is no genetic evidence of these relationships. They're just paper trails. Or in this case, that this is an adopted set of parents. And one of the things that you will see as I keep climbing this family tree is that I don't pick up any extra relatives. Now, William had some kids that had some kids that could have taken DNA test. And John had some kids who had some kids who had some kids who likely have taken DNA test, but they're never gonna show up on my through line because we're not related genetically. Now in this through line, that's my brother. That's one of my aunts, and that's another one of my aunts. And they have this biological line. The reason I know this is because this is my grandma, and this is the name of her birth mother. So this will likely be a through line based on genetics, but I can't guarantee that these folks, even though they share DNA with my aunt, this aunt, I can't guarantee that there's no adoption taking place over there. You just never know. And the other problem is, why am I not sh showing up here? We'll come back to that in a minute. When you're working with your ancestry through lines down here, that's DNA. Up here, those are paper trail suggestions. Now, to be fair, let's take a moment and try to figure out what's going on. Well, in my ancestry through lines tree, I only had my adopted great grandparents, Harry and Laura. I need to go and add the biological parents to ancestry. My brother and one of my aunts appear on the adoptee through line as well as the biological through lines because they have both lines in their family tree. Now, neither of their trees are set to tell you which one is the biological set of parents. They just show as extra possible parents. And that's why there's two through lines. But one aunt only has the biological parents in her tree, and that's why I don't match to her, but she matches my brother and other aunts, and that's why that other aunt doesn't match the first aunt and my brother on the adopted through lines. 
Does that make sense? Yeah, it's a little confusing. So how do we fix this? Well, everyone needs to go edit their tree. I need to add the biological parents to my ancestor tree. I also need to take time to flag what the relationship is. Let me show you how to do that. So on my tree, I need to go to Laura and I need to go to her profile page. And then instead of adding additional parents here, I need to go up to add edit relationships. I need to then change the biological relationship to adopted, this biological to adopted, and add alternative parents. I need to add Delbert Hankinson. Now, for you, <laughs> Delbert Hankinson was just kind of floating around in my tree. So you might actually have to do a full add new person if they're not in your tree. But I'm going to go ahead and select him and hit save. And I need to have him biological. And sadly, because I'm trying to create a DNA tree, I'm going to make him preferred. And then I'm going to do an alternative mother, Agnes Anderson. Hit save. And make her preferred. Now when I go back to my tree, it looks like that. I have Delbert and Agnes and additional parental relationships. So now when I go back to the pedigree chart with my grandmother, notice there aren't any through lines. It'll take about two to three days when you make dramatic changes like I just did for the through lines to trigger. So if you do know that you have cases where step parents are in your family tree or adopted parents or guardians, anything that's a non-biological event or non-biological relationship, you wanna make sure your tree also has the biological relationships in order for those through lines to be accurate, to be a little more based on genetics rather than just genealogy. But be advised, not everybody knows that there are hidden errors in their trees, those oopsies. There could be times where someone has a match and they don't realize that they are only matched to their family through a mom rather than a dad and, vice versa, and not a dad or vice versa. So be advised that not all of those through lines are going to be accurate because it's not a genetic tree. And there's really no way for Ancestry to tell you the through lines based on the DNA or um, relationships and how they get a little funky. So my question of the day for you is, have you encountered some of these problems where your Ancestry through line really isn't representative of the biological facts that are taking place? Be sure to put some of those questions below and either Andy or myself will answer them. We hope you enjoyed this video from Family History Fanatics. Again, I'm Devin Noel Lee, and we hope that you'll check out some of these videos and leave comments so that we can all learn together.